Since China has recently opened its borders, there are now more methods to use Alipay without a Chinese bank card. Let's show you how. Now, there are two methods to do this, and I'm going to be going through both of them. But just so you know the differences between both methods. The first method is the fastest, and you just directly add your bank card to Alipay, which I'll show you in a second. The second method takes a little bit longer, but you get more benefits because you get a pseudo Chinese bank account that can be used to make purchases on like 1688 and Taobao. So let's go straight to the first method of opening an Alipay account. So if you look here on my phone screen, I'm going to go through step by step on how it's actually done. First, you need to download the, the app Alipay. Make sure it looks the exact same as it does on the picture. Don't be trying to download third party Alipays. Uh, you can get it in big trouble there because they could be scams and they can steal your credit card information. You don't want that. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to sign up. And when you sign up, you need to select the phone number based on your country area code. So where it says the plus, you just select your area code. So for example, if you're the US, you would say, look for the plus one or wherever your area code is around the world and go through the one-time password just to set up an Alipay account. So once you have the Alipay account, then uh, you simply go to add bank card. Now, if you don't know where to go for the add bank card, you just go to me right here in the bottom right corner. And then you go to bank cards right there. And then in the bank cards, on the top right, you can click add. Uh, you can see like on my account, I have foreign bank cards already there. But in my situation, I already have Chinese bank accounts. So it's a little bit different. But now you can just add your bank card just like you see here. So click the plus sign. Then just add your bank card and continue with the transaction. But other than that, once you add your bank card, you're not finished yet because you need to know how to use it. Uh, at, at one point, you may be prompted to make a one-time password. It's a six-digit password. Don't forget this because the six-digit password is essentially what you use to pay merchants. And if you forget it, it's a pain in the butt to go ahead and get it set up. So now that you have your foreign bank card attached to Alipay, how do you pay merchants? Well, what I like about Alipay, whether you're using iOS or Android, it's a very convenient. You see the Alipay button here? If you long press it, as in you tap it and long press it, you should have a sub menu and you have a couple options. Uh, you can scan. So for example, they have a QR code, the merchant that you can scan them and pay. You just scan their, their QR code and do that. Or you can click on pay. Now it may not show it through security features. Yeah, it doesn't show it. But this essentially shows a snapshot of your QR code that the merchant can scan and pay. And in that, you have the option to select what kind of bank card you want to pay with. So you just select your foreign bank card. They would scan this QR code that you can't see on the screen due to security features. And then they'll go ahead and do the payment. So that is the first method. But let's say you want to go a little bit deeper and you want to open an Alipay Tor card account. With this Tor card account, you're essentially opening a temporary Chinese bank account. So... Instead of just being able to use the Alipay I just mentioned for merchants that accept Visa or MasterCard, instead this one can be used to make purchases on Taobao, 1688, and any local merchants that don't have that Visa or MasterCard capability, which is about 90% to be honest with you. I've only seen Visa or MasterCard on major retailers like the McDonald's stores or any large malls, supermarkets, airports like that. So this will kind of bypass that. So what you want to do is search for the tour card. Use a search bar search for a tour card. And you can see that the app is right here. Now, by the time I'm filming this, uh, there have been some bugs reported. But essentially what you do is that you enter and it kind of gives you like a fake Chinese bank account, but you need to go through some authentication. So you got to click on use now. And then this is just like I mentioned before, you're going to select your region. Now, no, if your country is not here, it doesn't, it doesn't support it. I'm sorry. But uh, in this case, my country is here. So I'm going to go United States. And then I'm just going to put like a random. You put your phone number here and then you click on send code and it should send you a one time password to log in. Once you log in, you need to verify your passport information. 
and all that. They're going to ask you for your passport number, expiration date, a selfie with the passports and all that, upload it in the system, and then you will have to wait until they approve you. Once they approve you, then you can see when you go back, you will have a Bank of Shanghai pseudo account here. Uh, do note that you can top up this bank account with your foreign bank card to have RMB, but there are limits. You can't just like freely top up everything. Uh, there's like a 10,000 RMB limit. You can only do this within three months. And uh, you can't send this money or receive money from people with this account. You can only pay merchants when they scan you in their shops. But the good thing about this is that you can link this bank account, the pseudo bank account, to 1688 when you make the purchase. And if for some reason, some of these things don't work. You can contact the customer service of Tor Card, which I'll put up here. You can either call them or email them if you run into any issues so that you can go ahead and get that started. So that is the second way to use Alipay with your foreign bank card without having a real Chinese bank account. But what if you run into problems using Alipay in general? No problem. You can go ahead and contact their customer service. My most preferred method is chat. So you go under me. You see on the top right corner, you see the little uh, headset. You click on there. Then you go to online service, or you can do the hotline services. Uh, by the way, they have an English hotline, so you can try that. You can go to online services. And then you just ask for what, what you need help with. Uh, eventually, if you type in customer representative enough, uh, you will eventually get the option. You know, you just have to keep on playing with it. Keep on saying customer representative. I, I have problems with my account, customer representative. And then you should have the option to speak with a human. Anyways, like you just keep playing with it and there will eventually be an option. Like you say, I have problems with my account. I have problems with my account. I know it's annoying, but eventually you'll be able to reach a human and then you can solve the problem there. If you found value from this video, consider liking and subscribing to my channel for more tips and tricks about sourcing from China for your online business. Now, if you don't know how to open a Chinese bank account on a tourist visa or use a foreign bank card on WeChat Pay, you want to consider watching these videos right here.